Hey what's going on guys Tanmay of our simple snippets and welcome back to a new video tutorial in digital electronics and today we are going to be starting off with a new type of digital circuit which is known as counters so this is just a very basic introductory video on counters and it's all theory so if you already have good idea about what exactly a counter is you can always skip this video and move on to the next video wherein i show you a actual counter so a very basic counter and it's working but this video is just going to be about me talking about what are counters and some applications and some types but then we are not going to have a practical or visual representation so yeah with that being said let's start off and for this you already need to know what are flip flops what are sequential circuits and we've covered all of that in the previous videos from this playlist so if you are new on this channel and if you want to know about flip flops and other sequential circuits you can check out this entire digital electronics playlist anyways let's start off with today's topic so what exactly is a counter in digital electronics So as you can see on the screen I have a basic definition so starting off with the definition a counter is a sequential circuit so a sequential circuit essentially is when the circuit requires some feedback as an input so the next state or the next output depends upon that feedback loop and that is not there in the combinational circuits we've talked about that also in the previous videos okay so we've established that a counter is a sequential circuit moving ahead a digital circuit so yes counters are again digital circuits which are used for counting pulses okay so a digital circuit which is used for counting pulses is known as counter so what is exactly counting pulses now we know that these digital circuits especially the sequential ones have a clock input right so the clock goes something like this it's a digital signal so these are pulses so the rising edge the falling edge so these are called as pulses and these can be counted by using these counters okay so that's that's why the name suggest as counters because they use for counting purpose and counter is one of the widest application of flip flop which means that the counters are basically made using flip flops so some of the flip flops are arranged in particular order to create a one big counter circuit okay so it is a group of flip flops with a clock signal applied as i mentioned and again counters are used in digital electronics for counting purpose so they can count specific events not just these pulses but using these pulses they can count specific events happening in the circuit for example in a up counter which is a type of counter a counter increases count for every rising edge of the clock so at every rising edge the counter will increase from 0 1 2 3 dot 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 and something like that so you can program your counter anyways you can make it count from 10 to 0 in the backwards direction or you can make it count from 2 to 20 starting in between you can go up you can go down and depending upon what the setup of the flip flop is you can make those counters count the numbers according to your needs okay So yeah this was a very basic definition let's move to the types of counters okay so in general counters are of two types number 1 asynchronous counters or ripple counters and number 2 is synchronous counters so as the name suggest asynchronous or ripple counters do not have a common clock so as i mentioned in counters we have some flip flops arranged right so this could be flip flop 1 and this could be flip flop 2 and then there is a clock which is going to these flip flops right so in asynchronous counters this clock and this clock is not equal okay so they have separate clocks however in synchronous counters the clocks are aligned and are same so a single clock is provided to all of them okay so you can see a rough setup right so i'm not actually going to draw the diagram in this video because we'll see that in different types specifically so we'll cover a synchronous synchronous in separate videos right now just need to understand that there are two general types of counters or synchronous and synchronous and then they can be further divided depending upon what action they are doing so there are up counters which are used to count upwards so starting from 1 to 10 5 to 20 something like that then there are down counters and then there there are counters which can do both okay but in general as i mentioned there are two types of counters and the only difference is that in one that is in asynchronous or ripple counters there is no common clock and in synchronous there is a common clock okay so let's move ahead So what are some of the applications of counters? So counters have huge applications in digital circuits. There are frequency counters which counts the frequency, then there is digital clock, time me measurement, A to D converter which means analog to digital conversions, frequency divider circuits. So some frequencies can be divided using counters, then digital triangular wave generator. So there are a lot of applications as you can see and I could I could have listed a lot of them. if you want i'll just drop some links where you can see more of the applications of counters so we'll take a look at few of them in further videos also but right now just understand that counters have a huge application in digital electronics as a whole and they are widely used 
So yeah, this was just a very basic introductory video on counters in digital electronics. So what exactly is a counter? What is the basic definition? What are the types? What are the applications? And in the next video, I'll just demonstrate a very basic counter in terms of the digital circuit diagram. And then we'll also see how it can count the clock cycles. Okay, so this was part one of the just introduction and a little bit of theory. In part two, we'll see a practical example with diagram and the truth table and also the clock cycle diagram. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. If you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe so that you get notified whenever the next video is up. And there are also a lot of other video tutorials on this channel with different information technology oriented subjects like programming, networking and so on. So thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Let me know in the comments that you like this. Share it with your friends and I'll talk to you guys in the next video tutorial. Peace.